So today's Noir Vember uh, pick was a film I'd been trying to see for a while, and I finally rented it from Videodrome uh, earlier this week. That would be um, Abraham Polunsky's Force of Evil, starring John Garfield. It also uh, has the first screen per, per, uh, appearance of Bow Bridges, as well as has um, Robert Aldrich as the assistant director. So there's a lot going on here. Um, it also co-stars, other than John Garfield, it co-stars Thomas Gomez, who, uh, this was 1948, so a few years earlier, actually a year earlier, in, he was the first Hispanic American to be nominated for an Academy Award, and that was for another film noir, Robert Montgomery's Ride the Pink Horse. So at this point, uh, Thomas Gomez is one of the, like, handful of basically non-white stars in Hollywood, although he was always relegated pretty much to supporting performances, but he gives solid, solid performances in all his films, and I definitely recommend seeking out his films. This also has um, film noir favorite Marie Windsor in a great little femme fatale role. The uh, plot is that John Garfield is the lawyer. He actually uses the phrase fiduciary at one point, and I had to giggle a little bit. Um, he's the lawyer for a powerful gangster, played by um, Roy Roberts. The gangster is attempting to consolidate the numbers racket in New York, and they're running a big thing on the 4th of July when everybody is voting for, or when everyone is playing 1776, because it's the 4th of July. Um, and they're attempting to spin that so that they'll uh, get all the money. And... Garfield has an older brother, played by Thomas Gomez, who also runs a small numbers racket, and Garfield is trying to warn him, but the, the his boss doesn't want him to, and then his brother doesn't even want to listen, and this all leads to a lot of strife. Um, the rest of the film, I'm going to let you figure out on your own, so you can see what happens. Clearly, there's a lot of drama that's going to go on in this film. It was filmed actually in New York, in a bunch of locations. There's some beautiful, beautiful shots of Garfield walking around New York City. Um, just amazing, amazing cine uh, cinematography. It also has lots of allusions to the Bible, like Cain and Abel, and several other things. Um, so if you're looking for sort of a noir that has a really almost spiritual but not quite undercurrent, this is definitely a film, film for you. Uh, um, hilariously, sort of ironically, um, or unexpectedly, I guess. Uh, this was this film was released on Christmas Day in 1948, so maybe they knew. I don't know. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful film, a great performance from John Garfield, um, a very sort of talky noir, lots of dialogue, lots of beautiful recognition, beautiful recognition, beautiful um, cinematography, really complicated uh, relationships between Garfield and all the characters as he try to sort of tries to figure out where to go forward uh, and if he wants to become a good person finally or like just not quite as bad of a person as he was becoming. Um, it pretty much sort of shows you that even amongst the crime world, there's morality uh, and sort of the um, angst of, of are you doing the right thing? Um, even if the right thing within this context is still not the right thing in the like broader context, there's still sh shades of morality within. This was one of uh, Martin Scorsese's favorite films. It's on his Martin Scorsese, a journey, a personal journey through American movies with Martin Scorsese, a personal journey with Martin Scorsese through American movies, whatever the title is. Um, so this is one of the films for that. I think I have 14 left on that list of 100 films, so I'm getting there. Like I said, this is available on DVD. I rented it from Videodrome, but you can get it um, pretty much hopefully anywhere that you rent DVDs. I don't know. Uh, it's from 1948. This is Abraham Polensky's Force of Evil.